a little bit. I want to talk about jujitsu with you even. Yeah, more. let's do. Let's dive in. And I think learning and giving in jujitsu are two huge, huge oh, well, they're, things. They're intimately connected. Connected, connected like, exactly. So tell me your jujitsu story. How you got to jujitsu a little bit, so and 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 how it's my your life. Very first class was actually that. So October 2017. That's when I decided I was going to quit my job and I was going to start my own business. Okay. That same month, I did my first class at least two years ago. Two, okay. two and a half years ago. I remember hearing that you started a little bit, took some time Dude, off. I did. And then, so I, I went to like a class or two, and I was super out of shape and like totally lost. So <laughs> lost in jiu-jitsu, man. Jiu-jitsu is a weird ass sport. Oh my God, it's crazy. And so, um, I went through a few classes, and then like I quit my job, and so I was like, all of my inner need needs to go into my business. I literally cannot afford to have a misstep here. Right. I do not want to go back to working for somebody else ever again. Yeah. So I had to make a value judgment, and I was like, right now, this is not the time. Right. This past April is when everything finally came. My business is the point where I could justify, you know, jacking around for two and a half hours in the middle of the day. Oh. Uh, <laughs> so, you know what I mean? Wrestling. Yeah. Wrestling. Yeah. yeah. What does he call it? Jammy wrestling. Yeah. Um, yeah. Jammy wrestling. Jammy like wrestling. And so, man, I've, I've really thought about this a lot. Here's what I really like about Jiu-Jitsu. There's like this, there's the physical side. Mm -hmm. and, the, and I mean the physical, like the touch. Yeah. Like, and not in a weird way, but no, like no, the no. human connection, human touch is like a real, it's like an important thing. And I don't think... Which the physiology of touch is crazy on yeah. so many levels. And it is. You're like, yeah. when you're doing Jiu-Jitsu, you're really close oh, God. with people. Dude. And it like, I, I realized real quickly, it was like, I'm glad that I have good... Uh, hygiene and let other people do too because you're not going to last long yeah, okay. in jiu-jitsu if you're stinky. Mr. Stinky Day! Mr. Stinky Day! Everyone kept walking in and you're like, uh... I really wanted to get it in. I was like, it's a little... One of us has a wash from the other one. The physical side too of like, dude, of like angles and pressure and just feeling different. It's a kinesthetic version of learning. Oh, dude. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's not, it's not like, you can watch a move and see your professor, your instructor teach it, but it's not gonna click until you do the thing. This time, this time, this time, this time, until you hit it in live training, then it, dude, then that's the point I'm convinced that you got it. Yeah, You have sure. the thing. For sure. You hit it in live training, like it's now part of your game. You know, you, you get to a point where you're like, wow, I'm actually, <clears throat> I know some jujitsu now. I was, I was talking to myself and be like, if someone asked you, do you, do you know jujitsu? Yeah. I feel comfortable saying, yeah, right. I, I know jujitsu. Yes. I'm a white belt, but, but I know the position. You probably know when you're in a bad spot. 100%. You know when you're in a good spot. I, I know. Yeah. Many Unless ways. you're with a black belt and then you think you're in a good spot and you're actually about to get fucking checked. <laughs> and you realize he's in, you're in the exact spot he, he wants, wants you to be in. in. And then you start, you start second guessing everything. Yeah. And he, and he, what am I doing? Put here? an arm out there knowing you're going to grab it and then that's the end and of your life. Done. <laughs> this looks fun. Yeah. Dude, JT one time, I wonder if he's still watching. Anytime I roll with him, he'll take my gi lapel. He'll like have me wrap it. He'll dangle it in front of my face and wait for me to grab it, and then he grabs my arm. Dude, he like, did that sneaky to me motherfucker. He, he took it. He covered my face, so I went to move it, grab my yeah, arm. Dude. I was like, it's like next level. Man. It's a yeah. chess game. And, and so there's then like he ended up wrapping it around my neck, and yeah, fuck, fuck, you, fuck you, JT. It's like yeah, man. It's like bro. this chess game where the more exposure you have, the the your knowledge tree is just that much bigger. Unbelievable. And, and like. The type of learning too is like it's different than I've always done field sports. Right, right. I played rugby for a long time. I played basketball. That was yeah. my head. team sports. I've never really done individual sports before. So like jujitsu, it's a it's an individual pursuit, it's an individual journey. But you're not gonna make it. Okay, no way. You know what I mean? Like, absolutely. You're not. You just won't. What, you know what? One of the biggest things it's like for me, jujitsu on a number of levels like really hits hard on a on a life aspect of like, I'm someone who I, I, I find parallels in things in life that in real life actually like, you can really draw great inspiration from, for instance. You know, like I was walking the other day down a really treacherous path. Like, this is fucking lucky. I saw that video. Yeah, uh, sorry. Yeah, it got, got cut off. It was really awesome. Anyways, um, <laughs> it did. It did. I was like, come like, on, what's, what's the fucking point? point? What's the end of it? I was like, <laughs> cut me off, motherfucker. That was a good video. You fucking but, rookie. Come but on. jujitsu does that for me. And on a number of levels. Um, the first and foremost, you know, as a white belt, and you know, you and I are big, strong, athletic guys, not super used to being dominated at a lot of stuff, not used to being pinned down at the bottom of stuff, dude, freaking by, by a 110 pound girl who's just throwing me around like I, I weigh nothing. And so, it, it, to me, it was like, man, a lot of times in life, things are out of your control, and you're gonna be at the bottom 
you're gonna be getting smushed, you're gonna have your arm twisted, you're gonna have your gi wrapped around, right? You're gonna be just in survival mode. But there's something to having that skill because that is part of what's gonna happen in great emotional life events. Because life's hard, we all know that, right? Whether it's gonna be a death of somebody, you lose a job, you get to, I mean, whatever it is, right? We're gonna get these things where life's, life's gonna shit on us, it's gonna put us at the bottom of the side control and we're Right, you can't breathe, it sucks, you just want to die. Sometimes the move is you have to tap, and you have to restart, mm -hmm. right? And the loss isn't the tap, the loss is the tap and, Dude, getting, that, and, and leaving the mat and not coming like, back. That is so profound in a lot of ways because, like, generally I think people have pretty good self awareness. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Um, I would agree. I think that sometimes, however, they don't know when to call it quits. And they don't know when it's time to like slow down and recover. Yeah. They think that the hustle and grind, hard, hard, go, 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 is always the solution. And really, um, just had a client this morning who's you know going through a lot of stuff in his business. And needed really, he's a, dude. He's honestly late stage burnout. Like he's he needs to. He's done. He's at the point where he's detached from work. He's cynical. He is numb about. He has no feelings, uh, right? Yeah. And I'm like, no, yeah. Bro, you're, you're burned out. You need Trade to out how that I can't take a vacation right? right now. There's no way I can take a vacation. You need. You need to take a year. Yeah. Off. Something. Like sell the business. Do, Do something, something man. Because you've got to. You're not going to be around for your little. little, 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 little. But um, it is, man. It's just having that self awareness, the emotional intelligence to like not judge yourself mm -hmm. and not think that it's a failure, and instead be like, wait a minute, how can I learn? Yes. And so absolutely. the learning in jujitsu is immediate. You get instant Unreal. feedback. Oh yeah. Let me tell you, you know when you stick an arm in and someone rips it off. Yeah. Oh or, yeah. Or you know, you know if you go to shoot and your head's down and you get guillotined right away. Like, yep. The lessons are real in jujitsu. Oh, I think totally. that's part of what like for me, not to get into like but like the the pain, like it, it hurts a lot of times. Like today Izzy was cranking on her choke, but it was off of my teeth. Oh. And it was just like it felt like it was bending my teeth and it was like if that hurts, but life hurts sometimes, and that's okay, mm -hmm. you know? And to be able to get through that, get back up, and be like, I'm ready to do it again. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take what I just learned, and hopefully Izzy doesn't wrap his gi around my teeth again this mm -hmm. next round, right? And learn those lessons. And so that's one thing that just super translates to me, especially feeling like I was, I've been at the bottom of fucking side control for the last year with the whole divorce, right? Like, I just felt like I was getting shit on and stuff, and it was just really hard. So something about that was like, holy cow, I can survive this and be cool and get out and manage to get myself safe mm -hmm. but not give up and be like I'm ready to get back to this like that just really resonated me with real life and when shit gets hard like I think about it. oh yeah I think about the tips I'm like would I tap right now you're like maybe I was I might I was like but would the tap be the win right where's the win in the situation yeah. tap when you need to if not get a strategy get safe micro adjustments right work your way out Do you want to